Welcome to Angelo's Tennis, and let's analyze Sinner versus Mute. He wins the first set, and I talk about this on my channel uh, here and there, and how the, some of these top guys, or all the top guys, sometimes have an easier path to winning these titles. And this is a perfect example. Mute wins the first set, and then he is totally starstruck and just gets rolled over by Sinner. I mean, it's not even a competition. And it's very clear he's tense, he's nervous, and this isn't really a, a knock on Mute or Sinner. Or, this is an observation. An observation of how things can be when you reach the top of the game and you are everywhere. Your face is everywhere, your name is everywhere, everyone's talking about you. Everyone's constantly saying things like, you're the best player in the world, you're going to be number one, no one can beat you, etc., etc. This weighs on people. They this they hear these things. It it's um you know people talk about these things. You're hearing this constantly, and it can create this idea that you that you become starstruck by another human being, like he's superhuman. And that's what happened with Mute here. He was clearly not playing the way he normally plays. He was tense. He felt the felt the pressure. He wanted to win. Uh, he, you know, he probably wanted to win in in his hometown, the the uh, best run he's ever had. And he has to play the greatest player, one of the greatest players of in the world, or the up and coming great player. And Sinner just gets a walkover, essentially a walkover. 